We can you get another. This, you see this zoner versus zoner match? And mm -hmm. yeah, very hard. Looks like we are going to Mr. Mutton versus Knuckle Blast now. Hopefully another exciting set similar to the last one. So. Yeah, I'm very excited. This can only get crazier from here. Oh. We're seeing, seeing the battle here. of... Like, we're seeing two very, very fast characters come out here. They're both very similar archetypes, if I must say so. <laughs> very yeah. technical. Very, yeah, uh, we went from two zoners to two, like, rushdowns with pressure projectiles. Oh, no, I hits him would, into the prism. I would argue that Glare probably has some more scarier projectiles in this match. I I think I'm inclined to agree. The, like, the setups, I think that the setups that Sarah's can get off of it is really impressive, but... You know, just a raw homing projectile. Oh my god, really the last Oh, it doesn't matter though. Off top before it gets a chance to even react. Although we do see the homing projectile charged and the forward air uh, setting things up. There we go. Hits him with the homing projectile. Gets a nice 14% lead. Oh, oh the they're both start. battling over who gets the prism. No one hit it enough to get the homing projectile. Those bears are so, so deadly. I think something that's really interesting about the prism is the red one versus the blue. The blue one automatically locks on to the opponent, but the red one locks on in the direction you hit it. Yeah. Oh my god, the upstairs. Up, up be off the oh top. My. Cyro is just really holding that disc and just doing Cyro's things. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. Just. We're seeing this commanding pressure. Oh my oh, god. The going back to 1-1. One, one. What I'm thinking though is I think Glare has the better projectiles just by using UV. Just because they you need that fast tracking projectile, especially for someone that can move as slippery as Skyros does. Yeah, being able to, to just pin them down, lock them down with the projectiles is gonna help a lot, but mm. not really even getting a chance to throw them. Okay, the back here. We're Both back seem to, to just like pressing buttons <laughs> against each other. Yeah, I mean this is this is very much a matchup where that can that can really do a lot. Uh oh, that up special oh. Pratfall is gonna take a lot. <laughs> Sends him into the prism. Uh oh. I, I guess I haven't met, we haven't really mentioned that too. We're seeing that a lot. This game the way that Galare's prism works is that if you hit with certain moves like the strongs, they'll like. Your opponent will get turned into light and they can get sucked inside the prism, but does not matter. Gets killed with this stray back air. Even despite like setting up that prism, it didn't seem to help much off stage. The last hit year was amazing. Yeah. See, we see <laughs> two kills really early back to back. Spikes him, but doesn't matter because we just saw the, the movement. Cyros is very, very good that like a lot of Cyros's combo starters are a little slow, but once you get the combo started, it mm -hmm. doesn't stop. You you take it. And both players could be <laughs> could be said for both players, to be honest. Like, yeah. damn, that bear is out of nowhere. Yeah, this this neutral has been super, super good so far. I'm very excited to see where this goes. High mobile characters just going at each other, man. I love to see it. Yeah, the <gasps> oh, Coda. I've seen the Coda come out. Coda and immediately speed Monado. I wonder why they switch characters despite it was it being so close. I don't know. Maybe they're just they just think that it's a easier matchup, and it might be. Uh, are you there? Oh, I should be here. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, the shield. Right, I, was, I was just saying that I think that maybe this matchup has some advantages. Uh, like, actually, I don't really know what the advantages are, but I'm. I think having like a more easier to understand projectile, a streamline. Oh, Whoa. the upstroke. Okay. That, that helps. A streamline um, projectile and also just being able to mix up like 
your stats, just be jump and like speed, covering more areas faster than Glare can, can probably help a lot. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I think we're seeing... Oh, the multi-hit. I think throwing the plus the, second also help. Yeah, throwing the guitars and having all of the variety of things. That might be, because I've definitely done this. It's like, I see my opponent and I'm like, they have, they have better fundamentals than me. I respect that. I'm going to go a character that absolutely confuses them that they probably don't have <laughs> much of experience for. And if that, that was the case, it seems like it's working. They're both just as explosive even then. Yeah. <gasps> I think that screwed them up for the four strong. Pushes them away, but doesn't get much off of it. Okay. Back here. Okay, getting smashed now. Mudden can die here. Watch out for the spike guitar. Knowing very well Ooh. the limits of it. Punish. But I not get much of the yeah, the guitar just slowly approaching. <laughs> Menacingly too. <laughs> I love I love how that happens where you can just slowly keep moving the projectile. It's like it's mm -hmm. gonna get you eventually. You better oh. move. That up air missing, very crucial for Knuckle Blast here. <laughs> so neither player really able to pin each other down. Playing very well at uh, keeping the Monados up that are going to help here. Yep, we speed Monado coming out almost immediately. Just need to find an up air and it will be it. Oh, oh no! That'll do it. <laughs> no! A very mean trick. If you don't see it coming... Like, it looks like, oh, wow, they, they charged it the wrong direction. I can walk into it. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's just a very big knowledge check. Yeah. And, the, uh, I mean, this, this whole character, if you're if you're not familiar with uh, how this functions, is definitely a huge mono uh, huge knowledge check here. I, said, I almost said Monado check, but I mean, that too. I can feel that Mr. Mudden is getting way more desperate now here. Yeah, I mean, down down a stock, already about like about to get lapped in percentage. Mm -hmm. uh, and the smash coming out can be oh, very deadly. Tries to spike out. with it there, which is a little weird, but you know. Uh oh, missing it. Might have worked. Goes back to the speed, speed Monado. Very safe option to go for. Okay. Without the smash Monado, it's not gonna kill on that percent. Oh shield. shield. Trying to, to survive a little bit longer, maybe throw out a strong attack. Uh, uh -oh. Almost missed the last hit of it though. Buster Monado. Oh no, Ooh. that's death. We're gonna see going back to Buster. Yep. Why? <laughs> what because the? because you're. Uh, I think they're farming for Buster into fair. That is very much fair. Uh oh. And then I think the jab combo can kill at this point. Yeah. Anything. But Mutton, Mr. Mutton, not letting it happen. You can see the buttons being pressed. Yeah, you can you can hear the clacking in the oh. distance. That and up the up air off the top, gonna take it. God. Such an exciting game from these two. Maybe oh, that was certain. the right choice, changing Dakota. Yeah, I think that this was this is very smart. Oh, yep. <laughs> Here it goes. Yeah. See ya. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I'm safe. No, you're not. No, that would have been deadly uh, if it was if that hitbox didn't exist and Mudden knew about it. It would have been just as deadly because if you get hit with the tipper of Forge Strong from Skyros, it can lead to an early death, uh, early stock. Yeah, and we see the up air, the forward special in the up air once again. Mm-hmm. A very reliable tool for Coda, just to get those early stocks, especially if you know how to switch into Smash as the moment it hits. Yeah, it if you get the timing good. down, it's just brutal. We're seeing, again, still staying Coda, not going back to Glare. Very smart choice, I think. I think they're very much confident with playing Coda. Yeah, but I wonder we'll if this was a I wonder if this was a situation where they play Coda, but they wanted to give Glare a shot. Mm -hmm. That was it's almost like, crazy. It's like game one, I try glare. If that doesn't work, then I go back to what I'm used to. 
Yeah, it oh. seems to be their comfort character. Here. Grabbing the... The uh, fun thing with their recovery is that they can throw the guitar and then get the recovery back, which gives them a very powerful recovery. Oh! But the up strong going to knock him off the top there. But you're not gonna get <laughs> that recovery if you're just gonna die from a galaxy. What? I thought that was almost death. Mm -hmm. Using their float cancel early though, didn't give them another chance to extend that combo. Are uh, very true. Still like super super back and forth here. Oh, mutton all the way down there, or not mutton? Knuckle bus all the way down there. Mutton holding the stage, pretty handily. Okay. Oh, forward air. Oh, gets the smash oh my God, up, was... but doesn't get anything off of it. Into the combo, but somehow escapes it. Knuckle Blast is just knowing how dangerous it was to hold on to that smash because they too could just die at early percentage. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> the down air <laughs> drill into the down strong. We got the, the jump monado up trying to control some space, but puts it away for a little bit, gets it back. And, and the up oh. strong. I love seeing the little tricks like that, just throwing them around. Oh man, I'm getting lightheaded just seeing these players move around stage so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's like neither of them have any time to, to chill here. They're truly players of a higher cal caliber. I can't see the movements. <laughs> this one. Okay, fair. They might try to hold on to this number four here. Okay. Okay, Mutton knows. Mutton knows this time. With great SDI on that up air. Oh. Okay. The guitar special. almost killing. This one? Oh. Goes for the Smash Monado, trying to take it back, but still. Stalling on it right now. That's probably a smart play, because you know, uh, Cyrus trying to take care of it. Up gets it back. Cannot yeah. hold into it indefinitely. Oh, but the and that missed the eye. That is a very fun thing. We mentioned it earlier. The fact that you can throw the Monado out and be like, uh, all right, I don't have it. Come at me. Yeah. Like, like you want to stall? We can we can do this all day. Mudden is actually using that this very well for the recoveries too, being able to teleport out of the way. Oh, oh absolutely. Stalling. It's it's a very interesting recovery to watch. Okay. Oh, that up air oh, killing. It's juggling. I think that Buster holding it on uh, onto the Buster actually killed them way earlier than they expected. Yeah. Look at them sliding on against each other. They're just moving so fast. Yeah, just neither one of them giving up any sort of advantage here, but just one good hit is all it takes. Just two monster trucks going at each other. <laughs> That forward tilt is so funny. I mean, that happens to you. You don't DI it right, it's gonna kill you way earlier than you expect. Yeah, see here with the Buster just killing at 130, uh, 149%. <laughs> Had they known not to take that uh, Buster Monado, I think they would have lived. Maybe. But the pass is the pass. And we're moving on to Pit. Oh, wow. They're really, really mixing it up. I didn't know we got to see Sheik and then now to Pit. Crazy. Yeah, Pit is definitely one of the more notorious characters. A very strong character to, to say the least. Yeah, Pit, uh, although we are seeing a very different style of Pit than we usually do. Oh, there we go. There it oh. is. And the arrow is just gone. Is just... Oh, well, the arrow, yeah. But Pit is definitely known for the arrows. Because you'll see a lot of those. Yeah, there we go. Pit is definitely one of the better zoners in Wipeop, I feel. Yeah, without the inclusion of shields, uh, similar to Smash, 
the arrows become way stronger and even more annoying than they could be. Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, Knuckle Blast has them quite down, but one thing that's very funny about the arrows is that because you can control them even while they're off stage, uh, you can be in a combo and use an arrow you threw out to combo break it. Yeah, five years later, uh, the combo will extend, I promise. <laughs> Move that up there. Finally, I think it's Mark. It, oh, sets the shields up all, all the way out there. Probably trying to shoot off the backboard, but does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out where to aim. Taking the same yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, there's so many options. Oh, that bear is so dangerous. Oh, missing its mark. I feel like it's gonna cost them. Yeah, both these players just really staying in each other's face now. Because they know if they lose if they leave the other person's effective range, it's just gonna be projectiles. Yeah, here we <laughs> go. Now they're both zoning. Just taking its sweet time against each other. Uh oh. Oh. There's arrows. Yeah, Pit's got so much, so much just flying around. Oh yeah, also, uh, as you all, as you all know from Pit in Smash Ultimate, he's got his iconic gun, uh, which his neutral special. He has a gun, <laughs> which is you know, also makes this this matchup very interesting. Yeah, it makes uh, Pit more zoning focused, I find. Yeah, we saw oh. it used for recovery there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Mutton just seeing the recovery and being like, okay, my turn. Mutton is great at just like patching those recoveries out and just using the float at the right time. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this one. Just hit by two arrows there. I wonder if this one will land its mark. It's gone. Yeah, it's still 1-1. One, one. It's anybody's game, but staying on those top platforms against uh, Cyrus here is not a very smart thing oh. to do. Oh! And yep, as you like were I just said. saying, Commentator's Curse. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So let's look strong. at some of the stuff that happened here. Because this was and fast. Yep. Strong once again. The up strong really did hurt a lot there. Yeah, again, we see the this insane combo just off of the recovery. You can see how well Mudden uses those jumps. And then, of course, we saw here too, gets on that platform and, and boom, gotcha. it's over. Game and set. You know, uh, Mudden